Welcome back to Rooster Crow and TV, y'all. It's been a minute, but we back, you heard me. All right, man, before I do this commentary, man, keep in mind it costs zero dollars and zero cents to hit that subscribe button right now. I even be fair and price match and do the same thing if you hit that like button right now. You dig? All right, man, let's get into this, man. Damn, y'all. It's another day. It's another day, nigga, them. You feel me? It's another day, man. You know what I mean? In life, we all, like, you know what I mean? We make decisions that we, we're not always proud of. You feel me? But everybody got different ways of handling it. You feel me? And in this case, uh, Young Blue's baby mama, she came on social media to tell the world what kind of father she felt. She feels like he is. And man, I can't lie. She went in. You feel me? For you to go in on somebody who you share a child with like this. In your eyes, that person must be a real shitty person. But we're going to keep in mind that this is just like... We're going to keep in mind that this is just a her side of the story. I don't think Young Blue said anything yet. But man, she went in, y'all. This is crazy, man. Shout out to MTO News. You know what I mean? That's who I'm getting this from. Shout out to them. You feel me? But we're going to get straight into this commentary, man. You know? Let's get into it. This is the young lady right here. This is BM right here. You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure how many uh I'm not sure how many kids uh Young Blue has. Man, if I sound too relaxed, I'm laying down. But yeah, this is the baby mom right here, man. So she started off by saying she, as a man, you failed. As a co parent, you failed. As a father, You've extremely failed, Corbin. Wow. Extremely. Damn. All right. I'm going to go down. Bam. She said, it's where she really started going in at. She said, I failed my son the day I got pregnant by you for not choosing better. Shake my effing head. I honestly wish I never had a kid with you. I wish I could have a redo. You are a sugar honey iced tea -dee father. You're abusive. You're a special ed. You have bed bugs. And you don't take baths. It's so embarrassing and it makes me sick to my stomach. You're an effing joke. And your words have no value. I'm ashamed to be your BM. It's nothing I will ever be proud of. You ain't never did ish sugar honey iced tea for Corbin. I look at Corbin and I know he does, he doesn't deserve what he's being rep what he's being presented or what's being presented to him. For years he's been given the short end of the stick and little to nothing. I want you to know that you are the worst BD baby daddy for those in the background on the planet. It literally doesn't get any worse than you. Damn. You are the worst father a kid could have. If you die today or tomorrow, I'd literally spit on your grave. Yo. That's harsh, man. That's harsh. So, she mentioned... Co-parent. So I'm guessing this case already went to court. Maybe he's on child support. And, you know, they probably got, like, split time where he's supposed to get baby, like, maybe every other weekend um, and child or, you know, whatever it is. And maybe he ain't showing up. You feel me? And, you know, on her side, that, that could be kind of stressful. You know what I mean? Maybe she feel like she's taking care of the kid all day. She needs a break and he doesn't help her out at all. You feel me? At the end of the day, man, everybody needs a break. Everybody needs a break. You know what I'm saying? But it's clear that these two people don't really see eye to eye. You know what I'm saying? They don't really see eye to eye. But in all this that you said, though, and now I understand that you're having regrets and everything, and I ain't here to bash you or whatever it is just to speak facts, you know? The nigga don't take baths. 
He got bed bugs. You know, he's nasty. He's dirty. Like, other than him being a star and you more than likely being starstruck, how did he pull you? How he end up getting you pregnant? You feel me? If somebody is this dirty, you know what I mean? It can't be love at first sight. If this person is this dirty, it got to be run at first sight. But yet you stayed and you got pregnant. Just to find out that maybe the nigga is a deadbeat. Because like I said, this is your side of the story. We ain't had nothing from the nigga yet. Just to find out that, you know what I mean, the nigga is a deadbeat. And you know, as always, man, it's the kid that's going to really, you know, get the bad end of the stake over here. The kid always, you know what I mean, the kid always end up losing. Like I say, you, you regretting this right now, but as I was saying, if I meet a chick, you feel me? And you know what I mean? Like, she off top, she looks she looks good, you know what I mean? We we connect, we having a good conversation, man, you know, things get a little spicy and we end up at her crib. Man, we walk in, that crib is dirty, first sight. I'm out of there. You feel me? Because my way of thinking is, if your crib is dirty, everything in here is dirty. Like, you know, when I say dirty, like, you know, notice, like something that's noticeable. You walk in there, you just can't miss it. Like, damn, this shit dirty. You feel me? Don't get me wrong. Everybody have, like, their off days. You feel me? But if your shit is just dirty, like you want some, like, hoarding kind of dirty, nah, bro, like, I can't. I can't rock with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm out of there. You know? I'm out of there. And that's just what it is. So, for you to have stayed around, man, maybe maybe you saw something that you wanted. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you saw something that you wanted. It's unfortunate that you stayed around, got pregnant, and now you're talking all this crazy stuff. You're going to spit on this man's grave. But see, what y'all don't realize is, man, this kid going to get older and this internet is forever. You feel me? This kid gonna get older and he gonna see this shit. You feel me? He gonna see mom and dad going back and forth. Look at all these harsh words that mom is using towards dad. You feel me? Maybe the kid ain't gonna remember the part about dad not being there right now. You know what I mean? Who know what the situation is? But man, as two as 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 two adults, man, it has to be a better way, you know what I mean, to solve this shit than she went about it. You feel me? You share blood with somebody. Your brother life into this world. You know what I mean? You can't have this kind of hate towards that person. You know? I mean, we live and we learn. And speaking from experience of being in this situation, what I learned is, uh, let me try to help this person. Let me help this person out. Let me help this person get on their feet. Let me help them take breaks every now and then. That way shit gonna go smooth on my end. You feel me? Meaning, like, hopefully you don't try to shift your problem on me because I'm doing my part. I'm there for my parenting time. You feel me? And when my kid is with me, this is your time to do what you need to do. You know, have your break. Have your little peace of mind, your alone time. You got to do that shit for each other. You know what I mean? You ain't got to be with the person to want good for the person. You got to want good for the person because you want good for yourself. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my take on this shit, man. She went in on this, man. And, hey, at the end of the day, it's how she feels. You know what I mean? She got the right to it. You know what I mean? Nobody gonna stand around, especially a mother, and feel like and watch her child get mistreated. And you can tell a lot of emotions. You know, she's angry right now, but maybe this ain't really how she feel. But if this really is how she, you feel, you know, then we gotta look at you sideways too, cause you did say the man had bad buzz and you know, he don't take bad, you know what I mean? Like, but you still stuck around, so you know, but that's my take on this, man. What y'all say? What y'all, you know what I mean? What y'all think about this whole thing? Let's talk about it in the comment section, man. Till next time, y'all.